Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Hilo Henry. Let's have a look at it. It's a HVR 200-12. Nothing particularly interesting about it other than if I turn it on. It sounds like the motor's spinning, but something's not. And there's a kind of a smell of electric burning off it. I'll put it on low. So I'm not going to run it any longer. I was told that smoke had come out of it, which is not, not a good sign. Smoke. But if we can do anything for it, we'll, we'll do something for it to help someone out. So it needs a torque screwdriver. So I've taken out all seven screws because ultimately we're going into the motor. Flip it over, lift the top off, and take out the wire. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Then there's the high-low board switch. Up there, we should be able to pull this apart. Have a look. We've got a blue, a blue control board there for the high low. So what can we do here? Pull this motor out and take a look at it. It all looks clean in there. This is what's a bit weird about it. There's riser blocks there for the motor. I'm wondering, do we have a dud bearing or something that's stopping it going round? In which case, like given the smell of it, I think it's cooked, but we we can try, you know. Let's get this wire off here. Cover off. Where are my cables? Whites, where are you? Oh, you're not easy. You're not making life easy at all. Okay, so I've got one here. I'm going to be very gentle with these because sometimes the staked in spade connectors come off as well and that's no good so I should just leave that over there let's have a look let's have a look at this that should lift out i think but it doesn't want to no it's welded in the uh commutator bar has has been on fire <laughs> the brushes are cooked the brushes are cooked but it doesn't it doesn't make sense because it shouldn't be so bad At this rate, even if you get it going, it's still going to be cooked, you know. So these should just lift up. But you might, might need to ease it out a little bit. You just need to ease out these uh, spade connectors here because they clip onto the windings. I like the design. It is. I think it's good, but... There we go. Brush has some massive grooves worn out, but it's popping freely. There's a great smell of, like, burnt plastic here, so... I'm... We'll get these off and we'll have a look at the, how the bearings are doing. Lots of signs of heat there, but you know, still popping freely. These motors are not easy to take apart. So how can we check if it's spinning? Yeah, you see it is, it is spinning freely, just on the end there. Burnt out rotor, is that the answer? If I prise that off like that, on the two sides, is it? We can try and tappy tap it off. So nobody would ever do this. This would be done, sealed in the factory, and then left forevermore. That's the outside. Bearings are pretty good. Yeah, look, it's been... All right, so if you can get in there, can we? See that pink on the commutator? That's just cooked. Yeah, so you go around and it's pink on one side and brown on the other. It's just cooked, I think. I don't think there's much to do with it. I don't know why that would happen. Like a dud armature, dud winding. I don't know. It shouldn't happen, really. To try and get in a bit further, maybe. If you had it blocked for a prolonged amount of time, These loosen by tightening, if that makes any sense. They are uh, righty loosey as opposed to righty tidy. If there was something blocking it and it got stuck, that could be your issue, you know. Something's happened there. You see that? That's worn off one of the screws, two of the screws. 
Now that was tight when I took it off, so that doesn't make much sense. Lift that off. I should be able to pull this out if it wants to come. cooked so this bit of the motor is probably fine there's your spring from the back from that motor the bearing that bearing it's spinning fine but it's probably a bit bad i i cannot see how this happened like that that's been i heard i was told smoke came out of it um i cannot see how that got stuck it must have gotten stuck and then well that's what i'm guessing anyways it got stuck and then overheated because all the power it's going through one point and not spinning around properly. It's very strange. There's some evidence there of something, something haven't been stuck and hitting. But for that to happen, that would have to make a lot of clattering noises for what I would say is quite some time. But I, I don't know. Would it be quite some time? I, I don't think there's any point in trying to repair this other than keeping it for spares. Um, but what would get stuck in there that that would come loose like that that wasn't loose that's what's a bit baffling about it like that's intended to spin around it, it could be that the screw came loose but that's a factory problem if that happened so this spacer here is meant to push that up so that it gives it space it gives that space to spin around I'm guessing that white mark, I haven't noticed that before, I'm guessing that white mark is to do a, a taco test on it with a light taco. One of the fins there is bent. One of the fins is bent, there you go, that's how it is. It's not looking good for this machine, I suspect the high-low and everything else is working on it, but that's, that's properly cooked, that is. Uh, you could put it on a growler and test if it's working, but I'd say it's not. I'd say that's your issue. I'd say some of those wires in there are burnt. Well, if smoke's come out of it, I, I can't really see it going again. You can see it should be bright and shiny like that end, but the heat has done that to it. I don't I don't think like sweeping it out with a wire brush and doing anything's gonna do anything for it because it's so bad. I don't think it will. And even if it does, it, it won't be it won't be any good really. So autopsy, if that's what we want to call it. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.